Next knot we're going to tie is the bowline. I'm actually going to start out by grabbing my standing end and twisting it. Taking my standing end and lifting it up to create a bite on this back side and a loop in the center. I then grab my working end and either go around my anchor point or through the eyelet on the top of the T-bar. Taking my working end, coming from the bottom of the hole, out in the same direction of travel as my working end. Wrapping around that standing rope back down into the center. Pulling in opposite directions to create the bowline. In order to safety the bowline, I need to do a double overhand. Again, wrapping around the rope twice, creating an X, taking my working end through the back side of the X. Dressing and loading the knot from both ends. Ensuring that the rope is in the center of my loop. If there's excess, I need to pull the excess out by dressing the safety knot all the way up against the bowline. The tail length must be between two and 10 inches at the end of the safety. The bite size doesn't matter as long as it goes around your anchor point. 